You had to see if everything Zolf wrote to you was true. Sure you didn't drop that twangy thing on purpose, just to see if he'd go after you. They lost everything, didn't they? But they just keep on fighting like that's gonna bring it all back. I don't need to see what happened to the Ura. I'm trying to undo it, remember? Long reach and plenty of power. Now that's a scary combination. Thicker than paint. Makes your skin feel as tough as knife bark. Part of the rippling walls floated by, so I caught the kid's old knapsack. It's hard to sleep easy these days, what with everything that's happened. First time Zolf had nothing to lose. He was born to a simple Ur a couple who didn't last long before plague took him. He grew up hungry in the tunnels of the Tassel terminals, so he took to stealing from a Ceylonian missionary living there. He once got sloppy with his thieving hands. The missionary caught him, but didn't rat him out. Instead, he offered to take him in. That missionary raised Zolf like a gentleman, like he was his own son. Taught him theology, history, and mercy.
missionary had passed away, Zolf promised to continue his work to bring about a lasting peace between the Ura and Ceylandia. <laughs> Zolf started teaching the missionaries wisdom to any Ura who would listen. And listen they did. advocated tolerance and argued that the Ura should atone for the war. He believed the city had much to teach his people. However, Zoe felt he could only do so much in the Tassel Terminals. He needed Ceylandia to know the Ura had changed. He decided to do what the missionary did many years before. He left the city of his youth to brave a savage land. saw the rippling walls on the horizon. endeared himself to city folk straight away, and in turn he fell in love with the city and its people. One in particular. young lady was fascinated by the Ura, but she never met anyone like Zolf. She told him she knew all the city's best kept secrets. favorite spot. 
It was there that Zolf clasped her hands and proposed in proper Ceylonian style. 